Hi, my name is Ola and uh, I'm originally from Poland. So now it's a tricky question because I didn't live anywhere for longer than a month, for like a year. Last time I was in California for five years and before that in Poland, but now I don't think I have like a base and I don't, also don't feel like I need one. So I just keep traveling. <laughs> Uh, I decided to be a nomad. It was kind of like a natural transition for me and COVID, situations and, uh, COVID situation kind of helped me uh, because my company went remote so I was sitting at home for a while and uh, realized that like I don't really like that especially that all of my friends left San Francisco where I was at the time like I kept like buying some stuff for home like new couch like rice cooker <laughs> and just realized they're not things that like make me happy and I would go outdoors almost every day like to the beach or like road trips to Yosemite which made me kind of happy but like I already been all over those places so I just needed something new and I put my stuff in the storage left for a couple months and realized yeah that's what i want to keep doing so i came back sold everything and now i'm like on a different continent <laughs> i think being a traveler is something that my parents showed me like almost every summer and winter we would go on vacation and I felt like like when the family is together for like a week or two like everyone just feels so happy so I think it just gave me like this drive to explore other places and then when I was in college I was traveling around around Europe with my friends and then I made this big transition to go to California so it was kind of natural transition for me So one year ago when I started, I was like so excited about going to the new place that I would change like every week, every two weeks, I would be in a different place, like a different island, for example. That's a lot. Yeah, and then I just figured out that it's, it is tiring because you have to pack, unpack, take a flight. It is very exciting and gives like this good feeling, adrenaline, but for in the long term, it's too much. So now my goal is to be in one place at least a month. So I'm trying to change places once a month. Ideally, I would want to keep increasing that. So it's like kind of like a battle between like wanting to follow my heart and wanting to like not exert myself too much. <laughs> So I don't do it before I get there because I'm still like in the flow of the, like the previous place. <laughs> I don't have time for research at all. The only way I research is like flights, accommodations and that's it. And then once I get there, uh, usually people know where I am and they send me uh, recommendations. For example, I, uh, I post on Instagram where I am and People are like, oh, I've been there, like, you have to do this, 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 this. And I already know <laughs> what I have to do, I don't need to do a research. <laughs> or if it doesn't happen, because not all locations are like famous, then I just literally Google top things to do. And uh, these are usually good things. I also follow things that I do like doing. So I'm very outdoor person. So I like water sports, hiking, like we did paragliding yesterday, which I enjoyed. So. I look for those things too. I'm the UX designer. I work for a company based in California. So it kind of helps that uh, right now I'm, for example, in Africa continent. So the time difference is kind of helpful with time management. 
like my company knows where I am and they know that I can only be available early mornings their time and uh, evenings my time which means that I do have time in the mornings and afternoons to do some activities and also do also, of course work that I need to do is the matter of like blocking those chunks of time that I have to do work meetings in the evenings but also being flexible during the mornings and always having like putting everything I need to do for work on the calendar to make sure it's getting done before I go to the activity. So I discovered a while ago that I just love islands for some reason. Like three years ago, I was in Iceland and Hawaii and I just felt like People there are different, like super nice. It feels like everyone knows each other, which is very interesting. Islands are just beautiful. Like wherever you go, you see the ocean. You can have like even mountains next to it. So I really like it. So I've been traveling like between different islands last year. I've been to like five Caribbean islands. I lived there for like four months, uh, Hawaii, I've been to three different islands, lived there for two months, uh, Greece, I saw almost all of them too. <laughs> now we, even in Kenya, we've been in Kenya, we saw Lamu Island, and now I'm heading in, in a week, I will be in Mauritius and Madagascar. Islands are my thing. <laughs> Poland passport is actually not so bad. Um, I never had problems going like Central uh, America, Africa is pretty good too, Europe is like perfect, I can like be there anytime I want, how long I want to. Uh, I did have one issue here in South Africa, I thought that I could uh, leave the country and come back to have my 30 day period of no visa uh, extended. But then after doing some research, it turns out that I cannot do it. So I have to leave. I might come back, but who will see? <laughs> so there might be some issues when you want to travel for like certain countries, but there also might be disadvantages. Like for example, I would like to go to Bali now and I'm seeing that like they are welcoming people from Poland. So, which, for example, I think I don't think US is as welcome right now. So there might be like disadvantages and advantages. Oh, advice! I think first one would be don't just like sell everything and start doing it. First, like figure out if that's actually something you would be comfortable with because uh, I don't know if yeah if you can actually like start doing it without like first doing some kind of experiment and seeing if yeah if you would feel safe and uh, if you wouldn't like get homesick fast so just make sure that this lifestyle is for you I wish I started this lifestyle sooner. Like I'm a person who like just does what what I want to do. Like always follow like my heart and when I choose activities, I just go for like what feels good and I invite many people. They usually like many of them come to join. Uh, so yeah, advice would be don't do something that doesn't feel right. And just like follow, follow your heart. <laughs>